Welcome to Greekazon, where we do these amazing little clips and we bring on these wonderful, talented creators that create products that we are more than thrilled to, to bring onto our platform. We have an amazing guest today. We're going to get right to her. Let me introduce my co host, Poti Stamos. Hello, Poti. Hello, Ari. How are you? I'm great. And I'm even better when we do these clips because it's always exciting to bring on new guests that we actually discover. And our yes, next tell, guest, tell us, tell us, tell us the, about today's guest, because I, I looked at everything you sent me and it's just really, really cool stuff. And I can't wait to, to learn well, more. Absolutely. And why we think it's so cool and why we actually um, we're excited to discover our guests is because our guest really um, hones in on our upbringing, which includes the family dynamic with our grandparents. So our guest, I would like to bring our guest on and we can talk to her more about who she is, where she grew up and what she's doing today. Uh, I wanna thank and bring on Brianna Midgley. Brianna, thank you so much for coming on board and thank you for taking the time to be with us. Absolutely, thank you so much. I'm really excited about this. You know, um, thanks to social media and specifically Instagram, we are discovering so many people so fast. Where <laughs> prior to this, uh, you know, it was a lot of effort for us to actually reach out to individuals or find people that are doing interesting things. But thanks to Instagram, uh, <laughs> we came across your page and we reached out to you because we felt that it was a nice fit with what you're doing in our audience. Um, Brianna is um, currently at the moment in the mountain, uh, mountain time or mountain um, time zone of Salt Lake City, Utah. That's correct, yes where you're our second uh, guest that hails from that area, which for us, it's fascinating when we meet Greeks from all over, but how often on us on the East Coast that we hear about meeting Greeks from you know, your area, which is a delight. But Brianna, uh, tell us you know, where you grew up, a little about your upbringing before we get into what you're doing. Absolutely, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for this opportunity because I feel like what you're doing is just um, so important, you know, sharing um, culture and history and um, just family, you know, and how important family is and and highlighting different creators and, and people trying to, to put their culture and their heritage out there. So thanks to you both for, for your efforts. And My pleasure and the opportunity to share. Um, so my name is Brianna. I uh, have grown up in Salt Lake City, Utah, and um, uh, actually a very large and, and vibrant community here in, in Salt Lake and actually in Utah as a whole. We have a, a very active uh, community in Ogden and Price, Utah as well. So um, a lot of uh, immigrants had come over to work in mining and other uh, and other areas, but mostly it was it was mining that brought a lot of uh, families over and, and men usually, and then the families came came next. So, um, and then a lot of families just stayed and opened restaurants. And uh, my grandparents had a bar and and different types of of businesses as well. And so, um, after that, it just has continued to be a really vibrant community. It, it's amazing that you mentioned this. The Greek spirit lives on in that fashion, no matter where you are and yeah. how entrepreneurial they are in those times of coming over with nothing, uh, just grabbing whatever they can get to, to get going and then eventually evolve into business people. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, on both sides of my family, uh, on, on my mom's side, um, they actually have a uh, upholstery business um, that's been long, uh, long going and, and now multi-generational. And so uh, it's very interesting what everyone kind of landed in and then continued doing. Excellent. So tell us a little bit about your family dynamic as a kid growing up in Salt Lake City. In Salt Lake. So I grew up in the 80s um, in Salt Lake, which was a very different place than it is now. Um, and so, um, you know, it was kind of balancing being being pretty different uh, culturally, religiously, all of those different things. And so um, it was really important, um, especially in my family. My, my dad's a priest in our community here and um, and so understanding our religion and what we believe and, and just how special it is and, and also just how closely it ties with our culture 
uh, was a really big piece of it. And so uh, we spend a lot of time in church activities, Bible school, Sunday school, Greek school, and all of those different things. So um, Goya, was there, was there Goya? I'll, I'll yes, start. absolutely. Um, and I was for a very long time, one of the only girls on the Goya basketball team. Uh, nice. I played basketball most of my life and uh, have a lot of pictures of me being the, the only lady on the team for a very long time. <laughs> for you. Well, Utah does have a uh, good history with the jazz in the NBA. Yes. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, and the dance, uh, because we have actually a really large Greek festival here in Salt Lake, the dance uh, group uh through seventh grade through high school has always been very active as well because there's a lot of performing that's done at the greek festivals too so um i spent a, a very good amount of time about six years uh participating in that and being a part of that it was a lot of fun excellent excellent um and so your your books that we're going to talk about shortly reflects on uh the experiences with yaya papu yes Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, definitely. Um, the books are very focused on, on you, yeah. Um, I, I didn't have, she was really the only grandparent I had through the majority of my life. And so a lot of my experiences uh, were of her. My papus had both passed away by the time I was born. Um, and then uh, my yeah, on my on my dad's side had passed away when I was pretty pretty young. So uh, Faye is the one that's um, that the books of Fortini, the books are written about. Um, and so the uh, large portion of my life was with her as my only grandparent. And um, she was an incredibly special lady and and uh, gave a lot to her grandkids and um, taught us to to cook. And um, she loved to write. She loved to journal. And different things. So um, we spent a lot of Saturday nights watching Golden Girls together. And <laughs> later on, realized I was probably a little too young for that show, but uh, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and I and I I'm, I'm also going to include the fact that you know our grandparents also allowed us to get away with things that our parents wouldn't. Oh yes, oh yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> with grandparents. Um, so you know you have all these fond memories, uh, experiences. And that pretty much drove you to want to, um, you know, create a, a book that actually captures those moments with your yeah, yeah. Yes, definitely. So um, I was probably about 20 years old when when she passed away and it was a really hard, um, hard, hard, you know, as everyone who has experienced it knows it's a really hard hard process. And one of the ways that I kind of work, was working through the process was writing down stories and experiences and my memories. Um, and I started to just get this idea of, I, I would just love to share this. I think there's a lot of people out there who have very special relationships with their grandparents and a lot of people who can relate to that. Um, and I just thought she was so, I don't know, she was just so wonderful. And I just felt like I wanted a lot of people to know about it. And so uh, the process actually took about 20 years. I worked on it a lot and wrote down different stories and different ways to present it. And, um, and finally kind of found the way I wanted to do it. And, and so now um, it's actually turned into three different books um, Excellent. in the series and, uh, and uh, gives her just a special tribute of just how I think uh, cooking and, and activities in the kitchen can really help and connect to life lessons. And then just also the kind of special love and, and relationship that can be built while, while doing those activities in the kitchen, so. Excellent. Um, <laughs> so as far as um, you said, there's three books, there's a series. Will this also um, allow you to continue to do more? I think for now, the these are the three stories that I've really had um, ongoing. I've kind of expanded into now different products within the store. So um, kitchen items, aprons, spoons, towels, that type of thing uh, that kind of go with the books. Um, so for now, I think the series is done, but you never know. I never, never, never know. say never. Well, we're excited to be able to feature your books on Greekazon. And I'm sure you can share with us as well, um, you know, information about um, the books where people can learn more about the books, they can learn more about you as the author. Um, anything that you want to mention to us additionally uh, for our audience about the books? Absolutely. Um, I think the it's kind of fun because the lessons, uh, each, each book is a different lesson. So family traditions, um, honesty and patience. 
And then each book is a, a different recipe that they're making that that connect to to the story. Um, so for anyone who's made of Lemonol, <laughs> they understand the value of patience. And that's kind of the, the part of the story is, um, you know, taking the time to do the recipe correctly so that it will come together well, um, but then also just appreciating the time that's spent in the kitchen as well. So um, on that note, I, I quick question. Is the challenge with Avogolemono <laughs> getting the meringue correctly? Yes, and not scrambling the, the, the whipping, eggs. <laughs> the whipping of the eggs. You know, I've always admire that that talent that our parents and grandparents had doing that but yes okay now i see where you're going <laughs> absolutely absolutely yeah when we were growing up we did the process um you know from making the stock um all the way through and so it was a very long process and as a kid um you know it's kind of hard to appreciate that and now looking back at it as, a, as an adult just understanding just how good it tastes and how worth it is worth it it is to take that time um but as a younger kid that was hard for my brother and i to you know to wait for excellent excellent we might have to explore some of your recipes ourselves yes <laughs> um this is great uh brianna i i we're gonna definitely um uh have your books available on Greek is on for all of our audience. Um, we'll definitely uh, check in with you from time to time to see what you got going on, if there's anything that's in the pipeline. Thank you. But uh, we wanna thank you so much for coming on and telling us a little bit about yourself and the books that I think our audience should definitely um, take on for their children, for their grandchildren. But it's been a pleasure and a delight to listen to your story. And uh, we you. wanna thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And, and just one last thing for the, um, just for anyone who's wondering about age range, it does, it can range, um, you know, from, from younger uh, children who will understand the concepts and the pictures and everything like that. And all the way through, um, I've had some friends tell me, oh, my 12 year old was, you know, we were talking about honesty and, and owning up and accountability and things like that. So it can range, uh, even though they are considered a children's book, it, it has a pretty wide range. So if anyone's wondering, will this be appropriate? for my kid it's a you know it can there's a lot of a lot of groups that can benefit i'm glad that you mentioned that absolutely ari any last minute moments of a conversation or any no i mean i i just i just want to say that uh, i think it's very a wonderful thing that what you had that that connection with your grandmother and it's it was so strong that it spurred you to do something creative and wonderful like these books and i can't wait to get them on here and I can't wait for people who don't know about it to learn about it and you know we look forward to it ourselves and we want to thank you for doing something so cool and so so heartfelt so we appreciate that and we appreciate that taking the time for you to be with us absolutely thank you so much it's been a real thrill for me and I'm, I'm excited to let other people know about it as well and it's just been a real pleasure meeting you both our pleasure thank you thank you and we want to thank everybody out there for watching and listening We'll have all of Brianna's information, everything you can learn about her in the books, in the notes somewhere around here. I don't know where it'll be, but it'll be there. And I absolutely check it out. It's a beautiful and wonderful thing that she's doing, and we can't wait. And we want to thank everybody out there. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.